Hi folks, welcome once again to uh, Gaz Labs and I just wanted to sort of show you a bit of a continuation on the solder smoke project I started uh, probably about a year ago getting on for. Um, it's still um, smouldering away in the in the background, pardon the pun, um, and and today I've I've been building a um, a VFO sort of circuit for it, and in here I'm doing this a bit one-handed. Um, what I've done, if I can pop this over, there we go. There you go. What I've done here is I've got an SI five three five one um, uh, little clock. Uh, here um, an OLED screen um, on the go here um, and in the bottom there there is actually an Arduino uh, Nano and here is just a straightforward 360 encoder Now the idea is that it's going to end up um, according to this fella's uh, schematic um, wiring so it's going to give me um, like a mode change calibration and an RIT sort of function now I'm just um, working my way through it bit by bit. Um, I've just used a standard old tobacco tin. One of these things. Thanks James, you, uh, you gave me about sort of uh, 20 of them. Um, and I've been racking my brains what to do with them. I think he's got another 200. Um, but so what I've done here is I've basically put some little grounding points on, on, each, on each face. Um, I've drilled all the holes now. Um, drilling any form of tin, by the way, is really, really not uh, not my favourite uh, uh, job. Um, and I would, uh, if anyone uh, out there copies this and uh, is inspired by this and wants to drill holes in tobacco tins, um, it is rather hazardous. Please make sure you wear gloves and eye protection. Um, there's a couple of little buttons on the front, as you can see. There's um, one of those is going to be function, and one of those is going to be the um, calibration mode. Now I will um, cut another hole somewhere in there for the RIT switch, which needs to be um, a permanent uh, sort of uh, make uh, switch, whereas these are just push to make uh, switches. Um, so the I'm just at the moment. I'm just populating the wires. Um, I'll I'll get those done. Um, I've got a few components to find for the next section uh, here, um, which will give me the um, the encoder. Once that's done um, and then connected up, then I can actually start the process of um, programming the um, Arduino. Now um, I've not decided on what sketch to use. Um, I'm going to start off with somebody else's sketch. I'm not uh, able to uh, to write my own, um, but I certainly um, would probably modify it. Um, you know, as as uh, I go, um, I probably will uh, bend James's ear whether or not he'll give us a hand program it. Um, but on the whole, I just wanted to show you what uh, what what's going on. Um, the outputs on this SI uh, 5153 are programmable, so there's three sort of clock outputs. Now, um, for those of you that don't know what this actually is, this is the VFO um, section of a direct conversion um, receiver. And the idea is long term that I will actually start building a modular um, transceiver, which will be QRP, completely QRP. Um, and possibly if I can I might try and uh, build something like a 10 10 watt amplifier um, if I can but it's probably going to be very low power um, that's that and the idea is that if I can inject data um, use it as some form of data uh, mode that would be really really cool um, and just a, just a recap this is actually the front end of the of the actual uh, receiver um, and so they kind of the block diagram um, is fairly straightforward um, what happens is you, you've basically got the um, incoming signal that goes into this board and is actually processing this is a little oscillator um, this again is a little oscillator and the difference between the um, the two frequencies um, or the, the, the difference, the frequency difference is then actually converted in, into the audio stage, which goes off to the audio. 
so that is the the basics of it um and it's coming together quite well it's uh, it is quite fiddly to do um but there again yeah it's good fun so uh, yeah i hope uh, that you guys are uh, also home brewing and um or at least uh, having a, a go at sort of something or other, um, that would be really sort of fab. And if you are, let us know in the comments and stuff below um, what it is you're actually building and, uh, you know, from, from there on. But anyway, but thanks again for watching and um, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.